Hello folks, welcome back. Another cooking video for you. It's been minus 38 to 40, minus 40 outside. It's a cold weather uh, warning for Alberta. So we're making another video for you. Hope it's educational. In this video, you'll see um, how to make uh, buns. It's very delicious, uh, Averill Gambler's um, buns. Um, she's a good cook, my wife. Thank you, Averill, for the good work in uh, education videos. Hope it brings value to you in your kitchen. Stay tuned here, we get started on the buns. Mm, the house smells so gorgeous, I'm telling you. It smells like a bakery. Look at that fluffy, yummy, hot buns. This is, and this is nice and crunchy, like you can hear it, see? That is what you want. So today we're going to make some buns just the way I do it, the way I was taught. And then I kind of just messed with the recipe a little bit. And now I kind of make it the way I like it. So I'm just going to show people a quick, just a three cup one, three cups of flour that will uh, make about two dozen pans of buns. So you'll need flour, salt. I just put my flour in here and keep it fresh. Salt, you'll need oil, and you will need this yeast. I use this all the time. I always use quick rice. Unless I'm making pizza, then I'll use traditional. Uh, milk, eggs. That's about it. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So you'll stand at the bowl. So we're gonna use three cups of flour, but I lost my one cup, so we're gonna use half a cup, basically. That's one cup. Three cups, three cups of flour. We need. It's like a little bit of salt. A little bit. Ah. That's it for the dry. Yep. We'll put that aside. Stir that in a bit. Give us a minute. Okay, now we're gonna activate the yeast. This is important. Um, for every three cups of flour I do, I will use like one package. Sometimes you can get these in the three pack. I'll use one package of quick rise because it's 11 mils. So for three cups of flour, you'll need like 11 mils of this, uh, quick rise. So I'm just going to use the, the baby's measuring thing, but I'm going to put 11 mils in there. Mm -hmm. 10 mils. 11 mils is one package of quick the little packages it'll be one of those so that's about 11 mils see 10 11 mils now we're gonna put in a cup we're going to this the sugar we're gonna put a dash of sugar sugar is gonna help activate the yeast look you just need you know, teaspoon. Give it a little mix. Then we're gonna run it under just a sec. We're gonna put some it's not warm water, hot water, it's like lukewarm water. Like it's just lukewarm water. I'm gonna get the rest of this in there too. Oh, don't mind the mess. I always make a mess when I'm cooking. So about there like you know a cup of water a cup of lukewarm just lukewarm water not hot water not cold water 
The lukewarm water is going to help activate the yeast and the sugar is going to help it too. So you don't stir it. You're just going to let it sit like that for about 10, 10 minutes. You'll see it'll activate because the foam will all be to the top. So we're going to wait for that to activate. And then we'll, we'll come back and we'll mix the wet gradients. Yeah. So we did our three cups flowers. We let that yeast mixture mixture sit for about 20 30 minutes. Now we're gonna do our wet ingredients. So use about a one third quarter cup of oil. Don't yeah, just a quarter cup of oil. One egg, one egg here. Come on, sous chef. Oh, oh no. Yeah. I always make a mess <laughs> in my kitchen. I don't care. I'm the one who has to clean it. So we got one egg, quarter cup of milk, I mean quarter cup of and you need about half a cup of hot milk. Um, one egg, quarter cup of oil. And this is about three quarter cup uh, milk that I microwaved for about 50, 45 seconds. Yeah. Oh, let's put it all quarter cup, yeah. I always use hot milk. And then we'll just need this. Like I'm not gonna use water cause I put a lot of my water in here. I like to let my yeast activate in a lot of water. So there's about a cup of water that I would have put in here is in the yeast. But if you're gonna, yeah. My water is in my yeast mixture. That's why it's not in here. Okay, we're just gonna mix it all in. So our mixture is at about one and a quarter cups. That's the milk, egg, and oil. And this is about a cup and a cup of half, a cup of water and 11 mils yeast. I usually make um, like 12 cups at a time. When my granny young taught me, she uses half a bag. She don't use measurements too. She says half a bag, this much salt, this much sugar. <laughs> so my granny does it anyways. So I'm gonna need that to make a nice little. You just kind of add flour a little bit as you if it's a little wet, get some flour on your edges. Gently fold it over. Fold it. Fold it. Fold it. Get a nice ball. See, my dough is nice and warm. I can feel it. The warmer it is, the better it's going to be. So they're almost the same way. You would just need traditional yeast, olive oil. So that's perfect. See, beautiful little ball. Just a second. I got me a nice clean bowl, and you always want to oil. Put a little bit of oil on the bottom of your bowl. It looks like lots, but it doesn't. You're gonna need it. Rub it all over. Then I always go like this down this way first then I'll flip it over see nice and then you're just gonna cover it up with a towel tea towel uh, for about half an hour that's it and we'll come back and check on it in about an hour 
half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. I'll let you know. We're going to punch it down, then we'll let it sit again. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. Our buns have been rising. See? Nice and fluffy. Rolling with it. So we're going to punch it down. We're going to work our dough for a bit. Work it. Always pull from the side to the middle. Side to the middle. Kind of want like an elastic -y. little bit of stretchy dough. We'll keep mixing nice. And... Oh my god, it smells so good. So I'm going to let that sit again for about 30 minutes. Then we'll come back, put it in pans. And then again, and then we'll bake. So another 30 minutes, we'll be back. So we're back, so after about, I forgot we were recording, and after about half an hour, it was rised up to here, and I punched it down, I forgot we were making a video. So I did punch it down, and then I remembered. So this was the second rise. <laughs> when you're making bread, it's all about the rise, right? I'm gonna cut this in half. We're gonna make little buns, they're gonna sit in here. And these two should be almost, yeah. I'm gonna cut it in half, and I'm just gonna make it more. I wonder if we'll more. we can make one one big pan of buns yeah you know what i think we're just gonna make one big pan of one big pan of big buns this will make about a dozen i always triple double my recipe then you can do like two four dozen of buns all you want but i was yeah, i was taught how to make lots i'll just make one big pan of buns first i'm gonna grease this you get some on your hands Grease it good. Get it nice and oiled up. My pans are like well seasoned. These are old pans that have been passed down from daughter to daughter to daughter to stepdaughter to daughter in law. <clears throat> Then I always, I don't know. I fold it to the middle and do it slow. Slow, fold it to the middle, fold it to the middle. Fold it to, just keep folding it over gently. See, flip it over, pow. Good. Another one. Bam, fold. fold it to the middle. Fold it to the middle. God, sorry. Okay. I fold it to the middle. When it's kind of sticky, I just like rock it. But you just work it gently, you know? It's just like making dumplings. You want to have your hands a little greasy, nice, clean, washed, greasy hands. <clears throat> These are going to rise in here again, so they're going to get pretty big. I usually make them a little bit smaller because I let them rise for about an hour in the pan. Then I'll cook it on high heat. But these are going to be big ones. Somewhat big ones. So you just roll them out. for people like with big families or who like to bake and share their recipes three cups because I'm so used to making lots make lots and I try and give them away while they're fresh because nothing beats a fresh hot bun put butter on it and it melts and it's so good who remembers going home when they're small, after school, getting off the bus, coming in your house and smelling fresh buns? Oh my God. I still remember those days. Running home, running inside the trailer and my mom's got fresh buns and moose meat stew cooking. 
So it's gonna follow those are the besties. Okay, so three cups made this, which is perfect for you know a couple people. Then I always grease my hands and I grease the the, the hats, like the tops. Because these are gonna get sticky and you don't want them sticking to your like towel. Like I said, you use your same like your baking towel. People always have a you know a baking towel. I also you can, I also use um, plastic wrap like saran wrap. I'll just break off a piece and put it on top. Even that will help it faster, the rising process faster because I don't know it heats up, warms it up at the same time. Let that cover up. So that's gonna sit like that for what? We'll time it, maybe half an hour, forty minutes, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how big it gets. And we'll throw it in the oven. Okay. Okay, so it's been 45 minutes since we've had the buns rising. <clears throat> I preheated my oven to 400 because I cook it fast. But you want to preheat it. Always preheat your oven or otherwise the bottom will burn. See? Wow. Told you we're going to have some big buns bread buns buns okay um i'm gonna preheat the oven for a couple seconds that how that's how it should look remember we need we let it rise for 45 minutes and a big tip is you need your house nice and toasty you can't leave the door open and let a cold draft in it will just kill your yeast you won't have buns your buns will just quit rising they'll deflate and whatever my house is nice and toasty. Oh, there goes my timer. Um, my house is nice and toasty when I make buns. <laughs> and these are getting ready to go in. So mine is almost done preheating. I'll just give it another two, couple more, maybe another minute, and then I'll throw it in. Stop it. Oven's preheated. We're going to put it in gently. Don't touch your things because once you pop it, it'll pop. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to take. Ooh, gently. <laughs> okay, well, we'll time it anyway. Maybe 10 minutes or so. But I'll run my timer and I'll show you when I come back. Okay. 10 minutes. Oh, my load. Looking. So I just grab a size. See how it's nice and like brown? But the bottom is looking cooked. Wait, let me just grab this. See how the bottom looks cooked? I'm just gonna turn it around the pan. It's gonna continue cooking a little bit, but I'm gonna put it on broil. See, it's cooked 10 minutes. Now go and I'm gonna put it on broil just to brown the tops. But mine, yeah. Mine has to go like way up. And you gotta watch it. It only takes like two minutes. You just wanna brown the tops. If you have to put a chair in front of your stove, watch some TV, keep checking until it's nice and brown, we'll take it out. I'll, I'll time it. It only takes like a minute. Now. Maybe one minute broil. Well, you get the point. You get the point though. You're just going to broil it. You're going to sit at your stove and watch it just as soon as the tops are, like the buns are done. We're just browning the tops now. You'll brown it, you'll take it out, and we'll show you when it's done. But watch it good, because it's just going to burn right away. It only takes one minute to brown. We'll be back when it's done in about a minute. Oh, no, I think it's been a minute. <clears throat> Told you, it just takes one minute. They're beautiful brown. They're done. We're gonna take them. Mm, the house smells so gorgeous. I'm telling you, it smells like a bakery. I wasn't prepared for this. So I'm gonna put it on top. Well, look at that. Shut the stove off. That's how it looks. It's hot. You let it sit on your stove and cool. And then it's kind of hot, so maybe just a second. Let's go on the light. Yeah, just don't show me. Here. Look at that fluffy 
yummy hot buns this is and this is nice and crunchy like you can hear it see that is what you want gorgeous right put some hot butter send it to your grandma's so you make buns thanks for watching